engine has two cooling water systems. One high temperature jacket water system and one low temperature system. Only the high temperature system would be described here. The high temperature system is a fresh water cooling system. During operation or just after the engine has been stopped, most of the engine will be hot. Touching the engine parts may cause burns. In this system be especially aware of the following parts. Cooling water pipes may get up to 90 degrees Celsius. The operator should always be aware of the high water temperature when working with parts of the cooling water system. Pay attention to how the additives are stored. The additives to the cooling water may involve a health risk, especially when highly concentrated. The operators are responsible for keeping updated with the producer's warnings on the containers or data sheets. Parts of the engine to be cooled by the jacket water system is the cylinder block, the cylinder liners, the cylinder heads and the turbocharger. Control of cooling water quality is very important to prevent corrosion, sediments and surface growth in the jacket water cooling system. It is important to use inhibitors in the jacket water both for fresh water and for distilled water. When using inhibitors, the service instructions have to be followed very carefully with respect to the water quality, supplement volume treatment and storage. Changing high temperature cooling water. Empty and flush the cooling system thoroughly before commencing treatment to remove as much sludge and rust as possible. If the system is exceptionally rusty, it is advisable to repeat this procedure after the first week or two of treatment. Click the components for further information. The jacket water pump is an engine-driven centrifugal pump type. It delivers water for cooling the turbocharger and the high temperature section of charge air cooler for engines equipped with two stage charge air cooler. The roller bearings are lubricated by the main lube oil system. Do not operate without proper water supply. This will destroy the pump. If observing lubricating oil or water coming through the telltale hole, Replace both sealing rings to ensure satisfactory sealing. The heater module consists of an electric pump with an electric element. The purpose of the heater module is to keep the engine temperature at approximately 50 degrees Celsius while the engine is in standby mode. Never operate without proper water supply because that will destroy the ceramic seals in the pump immediately. The purpose of the regulating valve is to adjust the jacket water flow rate. The jacket water cooler removes heat from the jacket water and transfers it to the raw seawater system. The plate heat exchanger consists of edge clamped frames within which a number of plates and gaskets are compressed. It is of great importance to inspect the high temperature water cooler during the running in period in order to gain experience to determine the correct intervals for cleaning. When the cooler is out of operation for a longer period, empty it, open it and clean it. Cleaning of the plates is important to restrict corrosion and to keep the heat transfer rate at a maximum level. Plate exchangers should be inspected and cleaned at regular intervals.